The latest issue I have with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is his ill-advised support of a plan to close the prison on Rikers Island. Under the leadership of former Corrections Commissioner Bernie Carrick, Rikers had nearly twice the number of inmates as it does now, and it ran relatively smoothly. Under de Blasio, the system is run by an outsider whose last job was in Maine and who lacks the management experience to run a big city jail system. Let me see, when Bernie Carrick was the Commissioner of Corrections for Rudy Giuliani, mm -hmm. there were 18,000 inmates and he had that place in lockdown. Inmates, correctional officers, everyone said it was a much safer place. I think they should fix the department. They should get rid of the violence. They should get rid of the corruption. They should get rid of the, um, the failed leadership. That's what they need to do. Don't worry about Rikers. Rikers is a facility. If you had a chef working at a restaurant and the chef doesn't work right, you don't buy a new restaurant and stick the chef in the new restaurant. I also find it extremely ironic and moronic that the mayor, who did away with the successful practice of closing failing schools and opening smaller schools in their place, would agree to a plan to close a failing prison and open smaller jails all across the city. His boneheaded plan goes hand in hand with his decision to offer every criminal a job upon their release from prison, something I'm sure every city college graduate would love to have. The real solution for the problems at Rikers would be to hire an experienced manager to whip the place into shape. Unfortunately, lack of management experience has plagued the de Blasio administration from day one. New York City really cannot afford another four years of mismanagement.